Hey guys, this week's video is going to be a little bit different because of a post that I made on Instagram and I think last week mentioning that there's a couple tips that I got for doing laundry. My face looks really red. Sorry for the lighting in here. I'm like, wow. Um, <laughs> maybe I don't need a tan couch behind me. But I just wanted to share a little bit on the laundry tips that I have because some of you asked for those. And by the way, I feel like I don't tell you guys enough, like, how much I really appreciate those of you that comment on these Wednesday videos. Like, I, I'm timid every single week that I put up a Wednesday video because I put something personal out there and share that. I don't share anything on Facebook because I keep Facebook for personal, like, family and friends that I've known for most of my life. And... I don't know. I feel like I just get personal on this channel and I'm like, if someone really wants to hear me, they can go and find it themselves. I'm not going to put it out there because I feel like I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just nervous about like people's reactions to whatever I share. And then every single time, that's why I wait a few days before I respond to comments is because I'm like, I don't want to hear anything negative. But then I go and I check the comments and you guys are so positive and uplifting and encouraging and I just want to say thank you for that because it really, I don't know, I don't, I shouldn't be nervous anymore because you guys are so awesome and so kind and loving and I don't know, I should do better at reading the comments sooner. I just get nervous because I'm like, oh, I just shared something that I'm like, I don't know what people are going to think and I shouldn't care because most of the time whenever I share it's what God's laid on my heart and if he's laid it on my heart then I feel like that's why he's given me this channel is to share what he's given me. So... But besides that, um, on Instagram, I shared a picture of these dryer balls right here. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I had just been hearing about them. I think it was on a Norwex party or something that um, I saw the dryer balls. And I was like, oh, like I've, I've been wanting to try some of those. Because I haven't had dryer sheets for our family in a really long time. Like, goodness, how old is Zeke? Zeke is almost five. So I haven't had dryer sheets in our house for four years now because when he was turning one, he started having health issues, breathing issues. And so I got rid of all the toxic um, cleaners in our house and dryer sheets was one of those. And I didn't replace them. I didn't have anything else to replace them with. We just didn't do dryer sheets for the last four years. And finally, after the Norwex thing, I was like, I'm going to look on Amazon and see what dryer balls are out there. So I'll put an affiliate link to these down in the description if you're interested in them. Um, it just says they're 100% pure New Zealand wool and it's a natural fabric softener. And this um, this load right here just came out with, with these. It says to put all six balls in there. I had just done two at first. Um, so this is the first load that I did put all six of them. And it feels like there's no static cling in them. They do are a lot softer than not using anything at all. Um, and it also says that it takes 25%, it saves 25% on drying time. And honestly, I don't know if that's true or not because I never paid attention to how long it took my stuff to dry before to be able to know um, what the shorter time is. So we just have one of those old timey like knob dryers and so I just always turn it up to I think 70 minutes is the highest I think no there's a higher setting but that's the first number setting on there and so I just put it on that um I did try like turning it down to 50 minutes on drying we have old machines um but then I would go and at the end depending on how much laundry I had in there and I had a lot in there this last time with all our tablecloths and beach towels and everything I had to go and start the dryer again um so I don't really know how it I don't really know about the saving time thing, but the exciting thing for me is most of you probably know that I use essential oils, and you can add some drops of essential oils on these. This is how big they are, about the size of your palm, um, and you can scent your laundry with this. So if you would use all-natural, non-scented, non-colored laundry detergent, you can put some essential oils and still give your laundry a fresh scent. So like using lavender on bed sheets would be awesome. And I even put RC and Raven essential oil on the boys' laundry, on the balls for the boys' laundry, because it just kind of helps them breathe a little bit better. So, so there's all different. I mean, you can choose whatever essential oils you want. Like you can, you can even mix essential oils to give your laundry whatever kind of scent you would like. So that's mostly why I was excited, and to hopefully not have staticky laundry again, which I feel like that that achieved, and um, and kind of made things soft again. 
My poor family. I mean, nobody's complained over the last four years, so I don't think it's necessary. But, I don't know. It was kind of exciting to be able to have something. And, yeah, and to be able to make our clothes smell good. Um, like, a, have a scent to them again. I'm kind of looking forward to that. So, so that was my Instagram post. And then my other thing that I mentioned last week that I had um, learned a few tips. I watched... Um, what is it called? Ultimate Bundles. I think it was Ultimate House Making Bundles. I'll put a link in the description below to the website that you can go. I think they have an ebook now. Whenever I saw it, they were doing a free webinar that I'm not sure if it's available or not. But the laundry tip that helped me the most is that what they do is they do a load of laundry completely through its cycle of washing it, drying it, folding it, and putting it away before you start another load of laundry and when I was watching it I was like it's almost laundry day for me and what I had been doing is saving all of my laundry until it was a gigantic mountain and we were running out of clothes to wear and then I would do laundry but then I would always get stuck in the folding stage because I hate folding clothes I can do this okay like I'm kind of looking forward to folding tablecloths and towels because they're just big and easy and I only have two places for them to go whenever I'm done um, but clothes I just hate like having so many piles and everything so my tips that I added on to theirs was um, they also said to do just one load of laundry a day which I know one of you guys had told me that and I was like that is nuts like who would do laundry every single day but it really does like cut down and I was worried with my big huge mound that I would never catch up and that I would like always have a mound of laundry to do but I actually did catch up to where I didn't have laundry to do one day so it was I don't know it was like a miracle <laughs> but the other tip that I have done that they didn't say is I bought a sorter I have a three-part sorter in our house that I tie-dyed I tie-dyed one of them blue one of them pink and one of them yellow and then I have another hamper, just a single one that I've had since like college. And so my single hamper will hold my tablecloths and my towels. And then my blue hamper will hold Toby and Zeke's clothes. My pink one holds Hannah and Hallie's. And then my yellow one holds mine and Tim's clothes. So that way, when one of those gets filled, I'm doing that load of laundry. And then I only have two people's clothes to try to sit around and make all the piles. Because what I was doing before is I had a pile for me, a pile, like, or not even a pile. It was, like, a pile of shirts for me, a pile of pants for me, a pile of underwear for me, a pile of whatever, socks for me. Um, and it, But then I had those four different piles for each person in our family. And it took up our whole entire living room trying to sort clothes and trying to get it done in time before a little kid would come and run through and mess them up. And it was just stressful. So only doing two people's clothes at a time makes a huge difference. Um, instead of trying to pile up so many. Because for me, the folding is the dreaded part. Um, and I think putting away. Trying to figure out whose drawer is this, whose clothes. And then like you go put, you think you put away one person's, all of one person's clothes. And then you come back to put somebody else's. And then you find, oh no, I did leave something. So now to go open that drawer again. And yeah, so... It's just this whole like mental game and trying to figure out how to make it easier. So that's my laundry tip. I hope that was helpful for you guys. It's kind of fun to do a laundry tip. I don't know if I have a whole lot of like household tips. Um, I feel like with six kids coming, I should. Um, or maybe I'll be learning them. I've been talking to people that have more kids than me and picking people's brains that have older kids than me as well. Um, and just, just trying new stuff. And this kind of made laundry a little bit more exciting because I can add essential oils to my laundry now. Next week, I'm going to talk about rest. That is something that we talked about, that our pastor talked about on Sunday in service. And that is something that I'm totally going to be implementing. I started last night and I'm looking forward to see how this week goes with rest and I'll explain more next week. So make sure you subscribe so you can get that video and also on Tuesdays I do a pregnancy update every single Tuesday, a twin pregnancy update every Tuesday on how our pregnancy is going with our little girls that we'll be expecting in January, hopefully not sooner. All right, I will talk to you later. See you next week. Bye.